that started with a strange cloud over the lake. I was riding my bike along the beach, and I looked up at it, stopped to snap a photo. That's ominous, I thought. A stark line of rain came in fast, and I turned for home, but I got caught and soaked as the sky darkened even more. I got inside in time to hear the sound. A strange high whistling hum, and behind that, a roar, a freight train. The sky was black, hail pounded the windows and the trees whipped and bent almost double. I stood at the window and watched, dirt, leaves, branches whirling around the house and I thought, this is what a tornado looks like from the inside, but it couldn't be. We don't get tornadoes here. And just like that, the storm was over. Everything was back to normal, I thought. I jumped in the car and drove across town to pick my daughter up at work, but it took 45 minutes. Trees were down at every corner in my part of town. Trees on houses, across the roads, sidewalks broken open, roots in the air. And the acrid tang of gas filled the air as I drove in from Zares on Highway 8, and I knew that I had been wrong. It was a tornado, and I could see now exactly where it went. North of Highway 8 looked like World War II. I made it back home, twisting and turning through a maze of debris, siding, boards, branches, trees, hydro poles and power lines, people crying and holding each other, and houses torn apart. A guy at one corner was directing traffic, his face white and his eyes wide. I asked him if he was okay and he shook his head. No. I saw the square, he said. It's ruined. Later, we sat quiet in the darkest night our town has ever seen and waited for the sun to rise on a godrich that we knew would never be the same.